that was quite a climb. So I've kind of zigzagged my way up from the valley floor. I'm on the access land and uh, fairly soon we'll kind of be at the head of where Dovedale Valley and this valley meet just over that brow ahead there and that's kind of where I'm really hoping I'm going to find a place to pitch for the night. That wonderful bit of video by Dean, Dean Richards, who I keep half expecting to bump into in the Peak District. And I'm told there is a pretty flat area under a tree around there. I can see a tree just peeking out the top of it over the brow, so I'm really hoping that when I get there it's not as steep as this bit because I'm not really very good at sleeping. Well, that was an interesting pitching up. So uh, I'm just recording this little bit of video on the D800 because it's so dark now that the um, that the iPhone's just not going to cope at all and this isn't going to cope much better. But um, you can just about see a little bit of the light of dusk left and possibly some light from the, the tent. But yeah, interesting setup. There's a tiny little patch beneath this tree. Uh, to set up but having said that I think the view does compensate for it it is amazing there wasn't room uh, to put my tarp up the other way round and normally have it facing out what I consider to be the front of the tent with the larger entrance but I wanted the larger entrance facing the view but uh, it falls away too steeply for that uh, so I've uh, erected the tarp to come up over the back and that's going to be my little kitchen area where I'm going to now have a nice little cup of I don't know, hot chocolate, I think. Um, it's dark really early, 25 to 5. And uh, yeah, amazing. <laughs> 25 to 5 and it's practically dark. Um, so sunset would have been at about 20 past 4 today. Well, it's about half past eight in the evening. I've eaten a nice cup of hot chocolate. Unfortunately, I've lost um, some of the footage that I put together earlier uh, when I was cooking. Probably a consequence of not pressing the record button properly. Um, but never mind. I guess that's life, isn't it? Um, it wasn't that exciting, to be honest. Um, I was explaining a couple of things though about my cooking system which uh, I would say has improved somewhat by two radical purchases. Um, I do now have a wind screen for the stove that is actually the right size and um, it, it actually covers from the ground up to the ring itself and so and just a little bit beyond so it provides much much better wind coverage and that meant has meant that things are cooking in a fraction of the time that they were before and I think that will pay for itself probably in a single trip given the rate that I had been getting through gas and the other thing uh, another mad purchase on uh, eBay was a small little uh, device for keeping the gas canister steady to stop it from falling over so just a little three-legged thing so um, so no it's actually been um, been a much better cooking experience I am probably going to cut across somebody's field in the morning for about 50 yards to get to a, a path that will mean I don't have to make what I think is like to be quite a treacherous descent down this slope. It was actually quite hairy coming up. It's not it's not a path I would recommend someone taking um, unless they're very short footed. I had to make good use of my pole. Uh, I'm carrying, I calculated at home, 53 pounds in weight on my back and um, 
going down steep slopes carrying that is just it's it's a very different experience to doing it with nothing on your back and uh, and I really don't think it's worth the risk I think I'd prefer the risk of running into a slightly irate farmer uh, pleading mercy well good morning it's about uh, 6.30 so it won't be dawn for about another hour and a half yet which seems ridiculous well the forecast was um, there will be no gusts. But there have been gusts. Yeah. Uh, it's been really a really windy night at times. And then at other moments it's dropped almost nothing. It got quite cold. I didn't really cover much of the valley yesterday. Um, because it just wasn't really the time. That's the trouble with this time of the year when it gets dark so early that um, I only covered about a third of it. So uh, I might do, if I can get up early enough and get away, probably while it's still pre-dawn, I might go down the bottom end of the valley, drive down there, and um, once I've you know, packed everything up, drive down there, and just get some of the camera gear out again, leave all the other stuff in the car. There we are, all packed up and ready to go. See this a little better now than I think I was able to show yesterday evening. And it does fall off fairly precipitously here. And uh, I wouldn't want to go down there. So I'm definitely not going home that way. I'm going to have to be probably a little bit naughty, I'm afraid. Forgive me. Uh, classic, no visible trace. Uh, completely clear sight. It actually wasn't too bad a pitch. I'm going to go down to the other end of the dale now. I think this is more recce for a future visit. I'd love to come back here and photograph this dale in the autumn, um, particularly in the, in the, along the riverside. Uh, the golds and the browns and uh, maybe some reds and stuff there. What I'm finding is that with these winter trips, um, camping is... <laughs> is not necessarily helping because I'm having to allow so much time for both the walk and the setting up, finding the pitch, getting the tent and everything sorted out, um, that I'm losing a lot of daylight. And uh, you know, if I'm just doing a one-nighter, I'm tending to find that I'm, you know, I'm quite late getting to the site I haven't really got the time that I want to explore properly you know I ran out of time yesterday um, when I parked up at Milldale and um, I didn't really have enough time to do the photography justice uh, I think I've come, come you know I have come away I think I've come away with one really nice shot uh, that I'm very pleased with uh, I'd like to come away with several really nice shots that I'm Please 
So I'm looking at that little kind of half island up there and I'm wondering whether that might be a nice little photo opportunity if I was stood in the water. I've got my wellies on. It's quite a shallow river. It's a long shot from here, a long lens. Should look pretty good. Base my long exposure big stopper settings on this. I'm also going to put um, just as an experiment. I put my soft grad on uh, as well. 0.6 and the uh, neutral density soft soft grad. So uh, that will really take the skies down. It might just give a bit of more drama in the skies. Not as much to see it there at the moment. But I'm just going to experiment with and without that. And uh, I think this is a nice shot. I like this tree on the left. So I framed it so that the tree is about a third into the picture on the left hand side and the whole of it is there. And then I have slightly overcropped it. Then I might take a long lens shot, uh, which uses the lower branches of that tree to frame the little island in the background and I like the way that the, the river is curving uh, behind it. Um, so I'm just going to turn the uh, turn the camera around, and, uh, and I'm going to just show you how I've set this up. I have to be quick. So we've got the hard, uh, sorry, the soft grad in the second slot on the mount, and we've got the mounting bracket there. And then behind that, we've got the blue big stop of the 10 got one. And then I've closed the eyepiece there just to make sure that it's any light leakage from behind. I've manually set my exposure to bulb. Uh, we've got the remote release cable all set up there. There's no real wind to worry about today, so we've got a nice steady shot and I'm on it. 11. I am in fact wondering whether I might actually come back a bit and take a and slightly reframe this so that I get this little bit of white water on the left side there. So I've had to go to a three minute. 20 exposure. So lots of waiting around on this particular shoot. Anyway, let's see what happened with this photograph then. Well, it's not too shabby really, I think. I've taken the tripod down a bit lower. Not right now, because otherwise I'm not actually going to be able to frame it very well. Right. I want to kneel in the water. Okay, so it's not looking so bad. I love these weeds. I love the river here. I really have run out of time now. And uh, so it's going to be nice to have a review of all of these shots. I really needed a whole day just to explore this, this valley, maybe two. Uh, but, uh, but I don't have that, so I should be thankful for what I do have. And I'm going to pack up now and head on back to Southampton. So if you've made it this far, I hope you enjoy the shots. Thanks for watching. Do like, subscribe, share, all those sorts of things. And I'll see you for the next one. Cheers.